Hey everyone, welcome to Star Morph, where we talk about artificial intelligence and web development. Today, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use Shad CN, which is a collection of reusable components that are built on top of Radix UI and Tailwind CSS. And these components look absolutely amazing. There's some great examples here on the website of what a web application built with these components can look like. And overall, it's a interesting system and I think really worth checking out. I've really been enjoying building with it and this new Star Morph website that sneak peek I'm working on is built with Shad CN. Um, and I really like how it's, it's coming along and how it's looking. So in this video, we're going to go into a tutorial on how to get started with a Next.js 13 project that's using Shad CN. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing we want to do is go to the Shad CN website and then we're going to go to installation next.js and we're going to grab this command here you can use package manager of your choice i'm going to use yarn in this example and then we'll go into our terminal and we'll run this command to create a new app my app Oh, I already have this folder, so let me just delete that. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. All right, now it's going to take us through a set of configuration um, settings that we can choose. So do we want to use the source directory? No. Yes, I want to use the app director directory. I'm going to keep that the same. Okay, now it's running the installer. And this is going to get us set up with a Next.js 13 starter kit, a uh, basic web app that has the ability, all the configuration settings we need in Tailwind CSS and things like that to use Shadzia. Okay, so now we can go into our app and we'll go back to the documentation. And now we're going to run the Shadzia UI. And there's a CLI that comes with this tool as well with this um, collection of components. And this is new. They um, just added in this multiple styles and there are more styles coming. And this changes kind of the configuration of the, um, yeah, of the styling of the com components that are included. So I'll go with default here and then we can choose stone as the color. Some more configuration settings. You can choose between CSS variables or a Tailwind. I'm going to use Tailwind. And this question is if you're using a framework that has an issue with using React ser server components, but in this case, we're using Next.js, so that's OK. There we go. And now we have our app set up. And I believe we can just run Yarn and Yarn Dev to install the dependencies and then start up the app and we should have a Next.js landing page here. Awesome. All right, so now we have our template set up. So let's go back here and there's a little more description on the steps that we just went through. And now we can start adding the components uh, into our app. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we'll go back to our terminal. And we'll run this command here to add the button component. There we go. All right, now let's open up the code and we'll actually put the button component into the code just to demonstrate putting a basic component in. So first we're gonna to wanna to go to the template that we have here and let's just delete everything that's already here. And now we should have a blank page. Oh, can't be blank. Okay. There we go. And now let's go ahead and add in the button component that we just installed through the CLI. Oh, we need to also rerun the installation here because there, I believe, is new dependencies for the button component. Or maybe it just needs to be restarted. Either way, we'll start that back up. And there we go, now we have a button component. 
So that's just a basic example, but we can go through here and see that there's a lot of different components that we could start to bring in. Some more advanced ones like a calendar, or this one is pretty cool. It's command search, and it has a really nice, almost like enterprise modern SaaS feel. Um, I think just aesthetically, it's really a nice collection of components. Some toast components. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. It's also built on top of Radix UI. So this is another resource to consider when building with this collection of components. And then it's also built on top of Tailwind CSS. So things um, like colors or a lot of the utilities that come with Tailwind, I still use while I'm building with Shad CN, which is great. It's another layer on top. So that's a basic example. Oh, there's one more thing I wanna show you, which is um, in addition to how we added that button, they, there's also a command to just open up a CLI to install different components. So if we run this command add here, then we get this CLI and we can choose what components we wanna add. So we could just say, all right, let's add an avatar. Let's add the calendar. And it's easy to get carried away and just be like, all right, give me all the components. Uh, and then let's add toast and then we'll run that. And that's going to install that into our code base. And also to provide a little more context, what it actually looks like. So for example, when we ran that button CLI uh, command, what we actually did was install this TypeScript file that already has predefined styling on a button component. So a lot of this work of designing a really well refined visual has already been done and is already abstracted out into this component that we can just then import as we did in one line importing it here so it's really nice it creates these like bricks of um of like visual logic that you can kind of just not have to worry about and then easily use in your app and that's pretty awesome so, okay, we're going back. Let's go back to the CLI here. All right, we added those components. So are they in our code base now? Yeah, so here's the calendar and everything. I mean, just for fun, why don't we try to pop a calendar in there too? See how that goes. Okay, we're gonna need a div. I don't know that it like that. Ah, we need to do the installation again, it looks like. It seems like you need to restart the app when you install new components. Awesome. So yeah, we have a calendar in here now. I've never tried the calendar component before, but it's really that easy. So it's an awesome library. Um, between the examples here and some of the open source things that are out there that people are building. If you're building with this, uh, sorry, not library, but collection of reusable components, not a component library. If you've been building with Shad CN, I'd love to see what you're building or like collaborate, let's trade some components, you know? Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful and I'm excited to see what you all build and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks.